Ladies and gentlemen, it is officially spring. Everything is green and sprouting. The birds are outside and chirping, and it's just an absolutely beautiful day today. We are out here in South Central Pennsylvania at The Frame. This is an A-frame cabin that is part of a collection of three Airbnbs here in Pennsylvania called the White Rail Collection. All three of their units have an all white exterior. We're gonna be touring their dome and their brand new tiny home in some separate videos. We're first gonna start with their A-frame. I especially really love their backyard. You're looking out straight into the woods. It feels very secluded and private. And you also have a fire pit and a hot tub. When you go inside, you have a gorgeous layout and a bunch of really personalized touches from the host. Not to mention the bathroom is probably my favorite part. It feels quite luxurious, but Without further ado, guys, let's now go and start the full tour. Welcome to this gorgeous all white A-frame cabin in Pennsylvania. Not only do you have this stunning exterior, but you have all of that stonework, your steps, the lighting, the landscaping, and some very green grass. It's also located on a street literally called Cabin Lane. How appropriate. And I was using a white rental car during this trip, so it matched perfectly with the bright white exterior of this cabin. I had to line up the car here for a couple of shots like this. Now here is the back of the home. I honestly couldn't decide if I like the front or the exterior more. Let me know in the comments. You also have a lovely hot tub out here in the backyard, in addition to a small dining table, a grill, and plants all around. There's also this very nice fire pit that you have off to the side. I mean, just look at all of this stonework and you have four black Adirondack chairs. Finally, before we go inside, here is what the surrounding area looks like. I was there in April when everything looked incredibly colorful and green. We are in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania. It's about three hours from both Pittsburgh and Philadelphia to give you a better idea of the location. But that's it for everything on the exterior. So I'm gonna open up this door and let's go and see the interior. When you look ahead, you'll see straight into the living room, but we're going to go into this room first. Right next to the front entrance is the bathroom, which I mentioned earlier is one of my favorite rooms. It overall has a very high-end and luxurious feeling to it. You have those black floor tiles on the ground, which really catch your eye. Your toilet is there on the left, and then your mirror and sink on the right. There are plants all throughout, and I really loved this bathtub and shower with those huge white tiles. Even the little pop of lighting next to the shampoo, conditioner, and soap really caught my eye. Let's continue on now to the first of two bedrooms. This is a bit of a yellow theme to it, and you'll see a ton of plants throughout. I do want to mention 100% of the plants that you see in this video are real. That's definitely very rare to see in an Airbnb because the maintenance is tough. So huge shout out to Wanda, the host. I met her. She's really sweet and does an incredible job at maintaining all of the plants that you see. Next, I'll now walk into the main area. This is where the open concept design really comes out. You'll see the living room on one side and its spiral staircase, and directly next to it on the left, there is your kitchen. Everything is very open and easily accessible. I loved it. To go into some more detail in the living room, you have your plush leather couch there on the left-hand side and two smaller coffee tables. You also have two additional chairs, a ton of plants all throughout, and also your electric fireplace and a larger smart TV. This room truly has everything you could possibly need. If you look more in the corner then, you have your very tall spiral staircase. This thing leads up to your loft bedroom, which will be getting to later. But now that we've seen the first half of this main area, let's go to the other end and it contains your kitchen space, which you can begin to see here. 
The kitchen has a simple black and white color scheme to it, and it's quite well equipped. You have, you guessed it, more plants and a ton of glasses, mugs, plates out there on the shelf, and all of your appliances are mostly black, like your fridge and freezer, microwave, sink, and stovetop. And this is when the personal touches begin. They left behind some natural spring water and some fresh eggs. There's more to see later. And then here is also your entire coffee setup. If you look now more to the right, you'll see your dining table with four leather chairs and then the nice touches from the host continues. You'll see the book that says Eight Cabin Lane. This is the guidebook for the home. There were these homemade cookies. These things were to die for, along with a handwritten note and these really beautiful flowers. If you look in the far corner close to the windows, you then have this large assortment of plants. The greenery just continues. It's time now to go and see the last room in the interior. So we'll go and walk up the very tall spiral staircase that we saw earlier, watch your step, and now here is your loft bedroom. It is beautifully decorated. You have a queen-sized mattress up here, and I loved that lighting fixture up top above the bed. This room has nightstands on either end of the bed. I loved those lighting fixtures as well. And if we get a little bit closer, the host left behind this nice little tray. On top of it sits another plant, a candle, and some chocolates. All the natural light is pouring into this room because one of the main windows is right behind the bed there. You also have another comfortable chair there in one corner. This is a great use of space for a loft in my opinion. Finally, if we gaze back down from the loft bedroom, you can see into the living room and also the spiral staircase there on the right. On the left, here is your bird's eye view of the kitchen. And of course, it wouldn't be an A-frame tour without showing off all of the A-frame windows. I also absolutely loved that chandelier and look at all of the gorgeous wooden beams. Stay tuned for some future videos from Pennsylvania because we will be touring this same host tiny home. This place is called the Boxed Inn. It has a gorgeous outdoor deck and here is a quick little peek into the interior. And on the same piece of land, you have their dome. It's called the Stay Around Dome. And everything, especially on the exterior, is gorgeous. These guys actually have a waterfall. You can see a little bit in the bottom right. And here is the backyard. This place is a dream. And this is another quick little glance into the interior. So stay tuned for some future videos. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you very soon for another Airbnb tour.